I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Let's have a look at your forecast. And as we look ahead today, well, it's actually going to be a much better day compared to yesterday. Two reasons. One, it's warmer. And two, we have a ton more sunshine today than yesterday. We actually did manage to get to 72 yesterday with just a few peaks of sun. Today, with a ton of sun, I think we're solidly 75 to 79. Heck, it's possible we could even break 80 briefly. Sunshine, bright. Full fledged sun most of the day until late in the day when we get some clouds. There's an opportunity for a shower, as you'll see in the North Country late this afternoon. I think any showers for central New York wait until this evening and tonight. So overall, it's a wonderful Wednesday weather forecast on tap for us. But then the coolest day in two and a half months will thwart Thursday. And if that isn't enough, Friday morning's temperatures will be the coolest temperatures we have seen since May. Yeah, it's going to be a full frontal assault of autumn weather on top of us. But the weekend kind of evens things out. The temperatures back into the 70s, solidly too, mid and upper 70s. So here we go. Sunshine this morning, no weather problems. It gets a little breezy today with a west to southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour, even higher over the lakes. So let's discuss late this afternoon. I'd mention up north a little bit of difference. Yeah, basically from about this line, North, especially Watertown, Lyleville, and then points north, Governor, A Bay, Clayton, Messina, Star Lake. These areas have the best chance for showers before sundown and even as early as 4 or 5 o'clock. Well, eventually, this thing is going to come through, so if you note the timing here, we will all go over to clouds and eventually tonight we'll have some showers crossing the area. Behind this front, it means business. I mean, this is going to be the coolest air mass of the season so far, so. While the morning isn't terrible, I mean, we've seen temperatures in the 50s in the morning. It's the fact that we're not going anywhere Thursday. Clouds, some sun, maybe a residual sprinkle or very brief shower. It really is a full fledged autumnal salt. Temperatures on Thursday will not get out of the 60s. I know there's been a couple of days where it's been close, like yesterday, but we aren't getting to 70 tomorrow. And that'll be the first time since June 19th. We have hit 70 or better every day since June 19th. Tomorrow the streak ends. And when the cool air mass on top of us Thursday night and Friday morning, it's going to be very interesting to see how chilly we get. I actually think there's going to be a wide range of temps. 50s right along the lake shores, widespread 40s across central New York, and I think 30s are likely in the north country, like Old Forge, and I think 30s as well. Tug Hill, 30s across the coldest countryside, especially east of 81. That means we got to start thinking about maybe some isolated frost in the very, very, very coldest spots of central New York. Mm -hmm. That's likely to be the Friday way we start things. Plenty of sunshine today and Friday. Thursday should be a little bit less sunshine compared to today. So the best chance for central New York to get showers will be tonight with that front coming through. And again, a one in three chance of a sprinkle tomorrow with that instability and cold air. Friday, no rain. Saturday and Sunday, there is a possibility of a shower or two, but note the percentage isn't overwhelming. And also note it's not a steady rain. It's a passing shower this weekend. And temperatures come back to near normal after going kind of all over the place here in the short term. Near 80 today, near 65 tomorrow, near 70 Friday, and then evening and out mid 70s for the upcoming weekend. Local temps, upper 70s, most of central New York. You can see the cooler air north in Canada coming our way, but it's pretty hot elsewhere. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Make it a great Wednesday.